folks, Coach Patrick here from Endurance Nation. Uh, thank you so much for checking us out. Uh, today I want to talk to you about three specific things, okay? And uh, they're kind of the, the crux of, of what makes Endurance Nation unique. Um, there's lots of different ways to get ready for a triathlon, train and prepare. Um, there's free versions online all the way up to super duper high dollar one-on-one -on -one coaching um, options as well. Um, and wherever you fall on that spectrum is up to you. But after years, over a decade of being in this coaching game, I've learned a couple key things. Uh, number one, the most important thing that I've learned is that getting ready for a triathlon has to fit into your life. Endurance Station takes care of that by making sure our training programs are focused 110% on return on investment. There are no junk miles inside Endurance Station. You want to add them, you can do that, but you're not going to find them there at the outset. Only the work you need to do is included in our training plans. Uh, number two, what we're essentially asking you to do by accepting number one, which is to say that your training is limited by the life around you, we're actually asking you to undergo a, a huge culture shift in the triathlon space. Uh, one that perhaps may not be appreciated by you as a new triathlete, but if you're a veteran, uh, you will remember the days where uh, triathlon training was, uh, you know, it was like Norse mythology. The epic stories of people training, uh, you know, eight hours a day, multiple days a week. Uh, people, you know, emailing folks or posting online on, on slow twitch or elsewhere saying, hey, I'm about to quit my job and, and try this triathlon thing. What do I do? Um, those days uh, have kind of fallen uh, to the wayside as our economy tanked and things and things changed online. But the, the biggest thing that changed, uh, especially from our perspective here inside Endurance Nation, is that we realized we could achieve 95% of those performance gains without those crazy, crazy sacrifices. And that culture shift is represented inside Endurance Nation uh, in terms of our our language, our own little our own little dialect, if you will, in the triathlon space. So we talk about ROI or return on investment and SAUs or spousal approval units. We talk a lot about work, right? We say work works. It's up here, over here. Sorry, on the Twitter side, uh, work is speed entering the body. That's behind me here on the banner. Uh, a lot of focus on on work, and then it's requisite recovery, which happens naturally. Um, in the alternative space uh, that can, that you know coexists with that works work element, um, we talk a great deal about power and pace. Uh, even though you may not train with power and pace, our thinking, our training guidance is formulated by that. Because if you're a power athlete, I can quantify work and give you specific targeted work. If you're a heart rate athlete, don't have that power, I could still get good data out of you and then crunch those numbers to have you inch your way forward and see great performance gains. All of that happens inside the house and all of that is run by our metrics. One of the biggest changes that people have when they join the team is learning that new language. Uh, I always tell them, you give yourself two weeks and the next new person comes along and, and you'll sound like some sort of crazy, you know, an acronym shooting veteran that they won't even understand. Uh, the adaptation is very quick because the results come just as quickly. When you see those results turn around, you all of a sudden start to understand uh, the concepts, the progress, and, and what makes it work into your life. Uh, all of this we call drinking the Endurance Nation Kool-Aid, right? Once you've, once you've done the work and you've seen the results, it's really, really, really hard to legitimately say, I understand I'm seeing performance gains in just eight hours a week, but I really, really want to train 16 hours a week. I've got an extra eight hours a week to burn. So uh, please, can I have something else to do for these extra eight hours a week? I can count on one hand the number of athletes that I've had in the past six years who've asked me that. Because once you've seen the results that you can get from Endurance Station and our targeted methodology, you want more results, don't get me wrong, but you want to earn them the right way without making sacrifices elsewhere. Now, I talked a little bit about team coaching in the beginning, and I want to follow that up again here because it's one of the fundamental elements of how Endurance Nation works, but it's not very well understood in the triathlon space. You as an athlete, at some point in time in your career, say, you know what, uh, cutting training plans out of magazines or listening to what my training partners are doing, it's not really cutting it for me anymore. I need a, I need a coach. I need something. So what most triathletes do is they lift their head up and they, they start asking people around them. They say, you know, who's that guy? He looks coachy or, you know, she's got a website. What does she do? Uh, and you find someone local in your area who's going to help you out and, and coach you. Uh, perhaps if you're more advanced or have a bigger budget, you might start searching online and find uh, a certified, more professional-oriented uh, coach who's got you know batteries of systems, typically you know silver, platinum, gold, with uh, you know different types of contact options. You can email me once a week. You can email me every day. Uh, you can Facebook me. You can only tweet me. 
all those sort of differentiations that, um, that people use to kind of make their service be different than someone else's. Endurastation took all of that, we literally put it in a pile, stacked it with dynamite, and we blew it up just like the Roadrunner. Um, the way Endurastation works is it is 24-7 online, and it is run by the people on the team as well as the coaches. Okay, there is no email limit, there's no phone call limit, there's no question limit, um, there's no um, endless, there's an endless combination of training plans you can use. All of it comes together in one space. It's essentially a toolkit. By joining Endurance Nation, we open the doors of our you know, training library resource area to you. You can walk in freely, take what you need off of the shelves, talk to the friendly, helpful staff, aka your teammates, get information on swimming, biking, running, destinations, race results, um, you know, equipment changes, um, you know, race selection, I have no idea, whatever else you want to come up with, technique in any one of the three disciplines. Someone somewhere is either going through what you're going through right now or has recently gone through it. All of that comes together in a space that you can access online when you need it, whenever you want it. Um, some great examples are, are posting questions, you know, on a Sunday morning at 7 a.m. I come back at 9 and I've got 12 answers to my question already. Um, other great elements of team coaching include going through the same training plan, with hundreds of other people. Right now in the winter, out season is huge and we kick off another out season in January. The January out season will have anywhere between 200 and 300 athletes in there. All of them doing similar workouts on the same days, checking in, keeping one another accountable, supporting one another through the challenges that come up with those plans. And participating in team run challenges, you get a chance to um, use your fitness for some fun stuff as well. All of that happens inside team coaching and you realize but the one-on-one -on -one coaching stuff that you are worried about, do I need someone to look at my power file or, or do I not? You know, Do I need someone to email with or not? Do I need someone uh, who lives in my town who can watch me run or not? You realize that Endurance Nation can actually solve 95% of those problems online through our team coaching environment. And then you can also supplement that with our camps and clinics and other events that go on around the country across the year as a means of adding more value to your experience. But by no means do you need to be paying hot, top dollar for, for basic level triathlon coaching. Um, Endurance Nation is as broad and as deep as you want it to be. Uh, if you want to go to Kona, we've got that. If you're doing your first one, we've got that. If you're a stay-at-home mother of four, um, you know, without a bicycle, we've got that. You know, if you're a high-powered, um, you know, uh, derivatives trader who works only midnight to 6 a.m., or you're a firefighter who works three days on and four days off, We've got all that. All that is inside the team. We're here to help, and all of us are willing to help you get better. So as you're thinking about Endurance Nation, I want to encourage you to think about that leap you're going to be taking culturally, because how Endurance Nation works is fundamentally different than anything else you've seen out there in the triathlon space. I'm confident that once you've come in and explored it, you'll never go back. Thanks so much for paying attention, folks. This is Coach Patrick signing off. I'll be back soon with more information for you guys. Have a great holiday.